Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing the performance testing of the newly launched Poco X6 Pro. So we have the newly launched Poco X6 Pro with us. So let's just uh, show you the about phone. So this is uh, running on Xiaomi's Hyper OS. You can see here Poco X6 Pro 5G and Android version is 14. And this is powered by again the Dimensity uh, 8300 Ultra. That's one of the really powerful uh, chip uh, out there in this uh, mid-range segment with 12 gigabyte RAM and Android 14 and uh, you get uh, LPD 5x RAM and UFS 4.0 as well so it's a really power packed device in terms of hardware so let's see how it performs uh, in terms of performance testing we'll do the CPU uh, throttling test then anti to benchmark score then uh, PC mark test uh, then uh, Geekbench test the storage test we'll see how it performs in this uh, test and see uh, how good the experience is so let's begin so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so first let's start with uh, the CPU throttling test so we'll be performing that test first so uh, we just turned on okay uh, we're just starting uh, the test so let's just uh, see the parameters here so 20 uh, threads and uh, test is for 15 minutes that's what we're going to do here so uh, we just saved here and uh, let's start the test so you can see that the right now the battery is 99 percentage so we'll see how much of battery drain also happens during this test so let's start the test uh, here so starting the test let's come back after 15 minutes of testing and see how the throttling is So now we are completed with uh, the CPU throttling test. You can see here it's quite a stable performance. Uh, it's throttled to 80% of its max performance. And you can see here the maximum value 331 and the average value is 283. So it's not a bad performance by any means. And there is no hard throttling here. You can see here it's quite a decent experience. I would say uh, 258 is a minimum value. So this is the throttling test. And uh, now you can see that the batteries are at 92% after uh, 15 minutes of testing 92 percentage from 99 percentage so that's the battery drain happening around uh, 7 percentage drain after the test now you can see the temperature is around 39 degrees so with uh, the cp throttling test there was no major increase in battery uh, i mean rather the temperature around 40 degrees so it's quite uh, normal here let's go so we tried doing uh, the stress test the wildlife extreme uh, stress test but that is not compatible on uh, uh, the poco x6 pro uh, with uh, the hyper os you can see it's not allowing me to connect unable to connect to the uh, upload server so it's not available here since probably this is because the hyper os uh, is not allowing it to run uh, again now let's uh, go to the pc mark for android so let's run the work 3.0 performance test and see how the performance is so now the battery is around 90 percentage so let's start uh, this test So now we completed the PC mark uh, test and you can see the score as 13875 and you can see the battery percentage change then temperature and the clock uh, uh, speed here you can see here the values uh, work performance score as 13875 and the other scores you can see here android version and this is the uh, PC mark work 3.0 performance score for uh, the Poco X6 Pro. So next let's uh, do the anti to uh, benchmarking test so let's see uh, how good uh, the um, Dimensity 8300 Ultra is in terms of uh, anti to score so let's open that app so let's start the testing once again so there you go we'll start the testing and let's come back and see how the temperature rises and also the battery drain on this uh, test.
So now we have completed the anti two benchmark score, and you can see the score here: thirteen lakh thirty eight thousand. In fact, previously we even got close to fourteen lakh. So again, depends for upon types to test. And uh, here we have uh, the score here: twenty eight, uh, twenty five, uh, or rather two lakh fifty thousand. Uh, approximately is the cpu gpu is really good 523000 and memory score is also 320000 it's lpddr5 x ram and then we have the memory score is also 320000 and the ux score now the temperature rise was around uh, uh, you can see here 14.6 uh, degrees uh, from 32.4 it went up to 47 degrees and 8 percentage drop in battery drain after this test so that was uh, the uh, benchmark score you can see here the total score is uh, 13 lakh 38000 now let's go to the storage test uh, so this is the storage value so you can see a sequence read and sequence write and uh, random access uh, speed you can see it's uh, very good actually if is 4.0 so it's one of the really good devices in terms of read write speed in this price segment So next, uh, let's uh, go to the Geekbench test. That's the final test we are going to do. Geekbench test. Then we'll uh, show the final results. So now we completed uh, the Geekbench test. You can see here single core score is one four four nine and multi core score is four two six five. So it's a pretty good device in terms of performance. As you you can uh, see from uh, the results. So that is the uh, performance testing of the newly launched Poco X6 Pro with the Dimensity eight thousand three hundred Ultra. and uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of other important things like ufs 4.0 lpddr 5x ram and then uh, good amount of uh, uh, vapor chamber cooling and then uh, you also get uh, a pretty good software experience with uh, the xiaomi's uh, new hyper os so that was the performance thing hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day